are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Phillies baseball on the show next. Digging in, Starling Marte. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Marte. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball with no strikes. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've brought five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, these players got first in their cars pitch. today to drive Kevin to the O'Sally. stadium, focused on one thing, not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed nope. a W and that one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big knock. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Now the 2-1 pitch. Takes a pass and misses that strike two. Good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the attack. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. One and oh, the count. Bases are empty, one man out. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he is he safe at safe. second base as he legs out a double. As we take a look at this one, you can see he puts a good swing on it, but I don't think he got her just enough to put some backspin to get it out of here. But hard to complain about a well hit double, though. Eduardo Escobar standing in to show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. comes the first pitch. Ball one, no now the 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. No time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, Pete, well, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Eduardo Escobar goes down for out number two in the top half. Into the box, Christian Walker. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He'll come in here at 259, 18 homers, and 48 driven in. On 
On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Got him reaching there. Strike two. Oh, Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Peralta at second with two down. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. It's two balls and two strikes now. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to three and two. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Ready with the payoff pitch. And strike three. turn no score Robbie Ray is on the mound for the Diamondbacks Dan Plezak what's the word on it hey you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio two to one that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy Digging in, Gene Segura. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Go. Billy. Not your top. Now, pitch on the way. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, nope. and this team is flying high right now. It's a fight at the bat back. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Two and one to count. Pitch on the way. To two and two now. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Oh, he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first down of the inning. That was aggressive pitching for that at that, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. And Bryce Harper will dig into the plate. Two away. He'll swing and miss it a first pitch fastball for strike one. He'll come in here at 263, 27 homers, and 59 RBIs. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. What a nasty pitch right there. Batter thought it was going to hit him, and it ends up breaking into the zone for a strike. A ball and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. Ball a two. little low, it's two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Fouled away. He 
spoils another one and will do it again. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just fouled into the second deck. The next 3 2. Popped him up. Walker over to his left. And that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still no score. Second inning set to go. And up to hit next, the guy who's turned into a big time RBI man, Scooter Jeanette. Scooter Jeanette. Pitch on the way. That's a ball. In his career, Jeanette carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Back up the middle. And this is going to scoot on through into center for a base hit leading off the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and the base hit up the middle. Pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Phil Calhoun is standing in now. This will take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. The numbers coming in 278 the average, 14 homers, and 38 runs batted in. Swing just got to try and straighten that one out. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already. And there's that first down. The catcher, Carson Kelly. At the plate, Carson Kelly. Hey. He'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. toward the third base dugout. Turner is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Batting it. The shortstop. Nick Ahmed. Up next for Arizona, Nick Ahmed. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. the stretch now, fastball on the inside corner and he takes a look at strike one well executed fastball right at the knees going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot now the 0 1 good oh, fastball oh, as he gets the swing and a miss hey I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with he's got focus he's commanding the fastball really being aggressive right now a lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here. Wave dead and missed 
for the third down. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. One left for Arizona. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. The third base Justin Turner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive. Sliding stop by Jeanette. It's it. in time. Show of range there. This ball looked like it might get through up the middle, but check out the spiking stop. And that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. Coming to the plate now, Scott Kingery. First offering on its way. Ball, ball one, no strike. home laid off but in there for strike one one and one no nope, fastball ball. close but he didn't get it two and one bottom of the second here with no score Bonnie he got him to chase two after a bad two one strike. there two and two it's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high that can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters Ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. Well, we all know he can burn on a base pass, right? But that's a little tougher to do when you've got a nice goose egg on your leg. It's tough to do like that. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. Left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Lifetime numbers against Robbie Ray. He brings a more than respectable 357 batting average. Here's the first pitch to him. So far this year against Southpaws, Benintendi is below the Mendoza line. Batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's well, the play's been made, and that retires the sun. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. At the plate, Robbie Ray, 9-1-2 and two do up. The picture, Robbie Ray. First pitch of the at-bat. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Set to deliver the 0-1. Outside, that's the ball. Martin Perez is forced onto the mound now following the injury. Number 33, Martin Perez. The pitch. A ball and two strikes now. One ball, two strikes, Cal. And he 
fouls this one off. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in the one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. Fouled off. Way the 0 1 pitch. It's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Third inning, no score to this point. Changeup laid off down around the shins. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. In now, David Peralta. Yes, he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. The one two. Slow little roller to third. Right to him. Wide throw. What a great job there to keep his foot on the bag. And that fine play will end the inning. Time to match down in order. All half of the third coming up. No score. lineup readies for their third turn with the bats and unfortunately for them this club has had its issues on offense case in point they currently rank last in the league in team batting average and on base percentage on that note one of the hitters told me I'd be lying if I told you it isn't frustrating for everyone we're all really competitive guys in that clubhouse so to be where we are is probably keeping some guys up at night sounds like a group looking for answers Matt. All right, Heidi, thank you. Here's how we can break. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Hey. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. A foul tip that's held onto at the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. A stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The one two. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Well, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, the swung at a miss. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. To the plate now, Zach Collins. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Now the 
1 0. It's looked at off the plate for a ball. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2 0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. 2 and 1. The count is 2 and 1. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. What do they mean to being a great outfielder? Not being afraid to sacrifice your body. Terrific diving catch there. It may look a lot easier than it actually Ready now, Martin Perez. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Owen oh, won the count. The Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Hit out towards second. And the Phillies are into the hit count. Boy, dude, are you talking about frustrating as a pitcher? Yeah, the pitcher here, two outs, and he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I've hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you can waste that out and flip the lineup. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that. By getting a knock, now he could have some issues here. From set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Ahmed onto the grass. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. One hit, one left. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing nothing. Digging in now, Eduardo Escobar. He'll have to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. No balls in one strike. Wind up and the 0 1. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. One one. Strike two swinging. One ball, two strikes again. And he'll try to get a fish in there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. I think he's shown you right there he's trying to put you away with the off speed pitch. Have to be leery of that right there and take Three. full side away. That'll keep you on all stuff, fastballs and the off speed. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Eduardo Escobar goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. Standing in now, Christian Walker. He'll get caught chasing the bad one there at strike one. First time up, he went down looking. Left field and deep. Looking up is Benintendi. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Solo shot here to left. 19th home run for him on the season. And the Diamondbacks strike first. It's one to nothing. Hey, I know we're not sitting up here with a crystal ball, but that swing right there, although in the middle innings, could be the deciding factor. And we could be looking back at this one when it's all said and done.
Here's the second the baseman, three. Scooter Jeanette. Second baseman. He swings here Scooter. and sends a chopper to the Jeanette. left side. He's got it. And there are two away now. Now batter, the right fielder, Paul Calhoun. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Cole Calhoun. First pitch on its way. And this one's not close. It's in the third for ball one. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw a great bite. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone and the inning is over. Diamondbacks hit the board first thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 1-0 Arizona. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that will bring in the second baseman. Logan Forsythe. Logan Forsythe. The pitch. Old strike at the letters. 0-1. 0-1. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's oh. getting outs. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball one and one. Now here's the pitch. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. And he fouls this one off. Off. Ready with another 2 2. Hit on the ground out toward Jeanette at second. Reined in. And there's one away. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft ground for the out. Big in will be Bryce Harper. Over one after the pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop out foul. First pitch of the at bat. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. These guys are pros, and they're tough, but I know now that would hurt. He'll never show it, though. Too much pride at stake. So a runner on first with one out now, and that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. Just one hit and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Oh, much one too one. tardy on the fastball. One and one. Fly ball out toward right field. Calhoun has a read on it, and that's the second out of the inning. Better fielder. Henry. Two are gone in the Philly fourth, and that'll bring up the former first rounder, Scott Kingery. He's set. Here it comes. Here's 
the 0-1. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. 1-1. One, one. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Runner on first with two away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They trail this one, one to nothing. for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. At the ball. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Swung on and missed for strike one number ball. two. Made him look silly with that one. Hit in the air out to left. Giving chase is Benintendi, but he won't get there. It falls in. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too the much of the plate. Nice execution by the hit. Nick Ahmed. Now, Nick Ahmed. So take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it. He's got it one away. Now battle. The pitcher, Robbie. Ray. Stepping into the box, Robbie Ray, who could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Here's the first pitch to him. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. On to the shortstop at second, but it's thrown away. Fortunately, the center fielder's in the right spot. Definite problems on that last play, and they'll the hit the first baseman for the error. Here's Starling Marte, who sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this inning. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, one, strike one. one. With some traffic on the base pads, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. One and one to the D backs leadoff man. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Swing and a flare hook toward the right. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up the base, and they're loaded with one yeah, away. Heck of a job by the batter right there. He bought yeah. himself a fastball. He gets an off-speed pitch, doesn't try and do too much, and drives it for a base hit. Into the box, David Peralta. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's one for two in this one. This is 
on the ground over the perch. Segura for one. He laid it first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked to Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Okay, thank you, honey. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. No balls and a strike to count. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's at number one. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2, and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Right? At the plate, Howie Kendrick. She'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Breaking ball as this runs in on him, and he has to step out of the way that time. One out, nobody on. Count is one and two now. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Under it now is Marte to pull it in for route number two. The bat, the catcher, Zach Collins. So digging in now, Zach Collins. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Too tight with Three that oh. one. 3 and 0. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to get him. And he'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Two out, nobody on. And this one misses ball for ball four. So the Phillies have got themselves a two-out base runner. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base. So we'll see if they can get something going here. Andrew McCutcheon will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 22, Andrew okay. Segura. She'll look to bring 
delivery. Two men are on with two men out. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. Set and the 1 1. Breaking pitch and just bounces in front of the catcher. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the base. Here's the 2 1. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. A 2-2 pitch. Hit on the ground the third. Feels it cleanly. On the first is in time. The Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. The Phillies leave a couple. It remains 1-0. Francisco Liriano will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Francisco Liriano. All set for the start of the inning. And next will be the switch in third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar. Here comes the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. The 1-0. Oh, that's out. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Started at the front hip and bring it back. And it's fouled away. And there's a missile off the bat, but it's foul. Uh, two, two, one more time. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's kind of beat me. Three and two pitch. Yeah, Fouled away. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter's aboard to start the six. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Christian Walker will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. Solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. Stretch. Here's the pitch. Nope. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. One 
Ball right. and one strike to the Diamondbacks first baseman. Mariano, a 36 year old veteran, is a 15 year major league vet, so it's been quite the career for him. Yeah, Matty, to play 14 years in the big leagues without question, I can't tell you what this guy's seen. Add in the minor league stops, he's seen every corner of this nation right here. He's been on buses, he's been on charter planes, he's seen every part of what baseball has to offer. The one two is taken for ball two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Nobody out, runner on first. Pitch is popped up. Liriano in foul ground, and no one will track it down. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Scooter Jeanette will be next. Now the three and two pitch. Hard hit ball to second. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that ball between first and second base, d -roll. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. So here's Scooter Jeanette. That's he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. A hit and two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Laid off for ball two. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. A 2-0 on the way. It's in there for strike one. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. First and second here with nobody out. Oh, this one's cool. low here, so the count swells to three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Swing and a miss as he went after the slider there, and that'll run the count full. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one because if it comes again we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he's trying to be a little too the right fine field. there and a walk is the oh. result. Well the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Digging in once again, Cole Calhoun, 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now here's a fly ball, well hit. Gone! It's a grand slam! So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. Home run number 15 for him thus far, as the Diamondbacks have extended their lead now five to nothing. Wow, you can understand what the pitcher's thinking. He doesn't have an empty pace, and he needs to get ahead of the count. All he wants to do is get that first pitch over for a strike, but the batter knew the same thing, and he jumped all over it, smashing it into seats for a four-run blast. Morgan Rodriguez takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Morgan Rodriguez. Carson Kelly. And he'll take a look at a 
high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Rodriguez, 33 years old. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Harper is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first down. The bat, number 13, shortstop, Nick Ahmed. So striding in, Nick Ahmed. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. Weak grounder down the line at third. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Way outside. One and two. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job oh, there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start Whoa. figuring out what locations you just can't handle. to the plate now. Robbie Ray. And he fouls this one off. No hits to this point. Hey. And the curveball's in there, so he's quickly behind nothing in two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the damage from the D-backs happened here on this grand slam. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks five, and the Phillies nothing. Now at the plate, Logan Forsythe. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch of the at bat. Popped up. Great. Has room in foul territory. He's got it one away. Now back. Every pitcher oh, loves you. to get quick outs, right? right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop up to start the inning. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Ah. One. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Two and two. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Uh, 2 2. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. Bases are empty, one man in. Outside in a full count, 3 and 2. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. 
You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have got him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Another full count pitch home. And he nope. lost him. All four is Harper will read. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Ready for another chance? Justin Turner. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's set and the pitch. Turner swings and it's a very well hit ball to left. Goodbye, home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Number 13 for him on the year. And it's now a five to two. Mistake of location in the golden eye here. I can't overstate how important this home run is, folks. It's not just the two runs, it's what he does to the guys in the dugout. Five to nothing seems pretty desperate. Oh, but five to two oh. is doable. That changed the whole feel of this game. He's yeah. 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit the short. And that's the second out. Now Blake Andrew Benintendi. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. Gotta find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh and two, the counts have been intended. Oh and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. in here as he reaches to foul this one away. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. But the fight and strike for a pair both coming on this two run home run. Top of the order due up to start the seventh. It's now five to two. Mike Warren is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven with the Philly. Number 28. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Starling Martin. The center fielder, number seven. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Martin. Oh, and one. One pitch. Now a late punt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Morin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. That's a ball. Changes up on him there, but it's one and two. One and two. Goes down on strikes for the third time. One gun now the Arizona seventh. And up next, the outfielder David Peralta. Pitch on the way. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. You 
talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The main job of the number now one and two hitters is to set eight. the middle of the order up with an order. opportunity to do That's some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. So here's Eduardo Escobar. And hey. he'll take a change up here for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one and gone up into the second deck. A solo shot down the line in right. Home run number 15 for him thus far as they open it up to six to two now. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty B, this is kind of a mini home run derby, d -roll. Ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage during batting now practice. Guys. Both were the super confident, team. and it's coming to fruition today. Walker. So now to the plate, Christian Walker. As he'll lift it up in the air, this is back behind second. Forsyth. He's got it, and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, but the D-backs tack on courtesy of this solo home run. Get up and stretch. It's the Diamondbacks six and the Phillies two. You're at Boxberger. He'll come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Brad Boxberger. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Howie Kendrick. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a photo, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch of the at bat. Now the 0-1. I got a ball, one Boxberger is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty D, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. Hey. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that could cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. High in the air into shallow left center. Peralta comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Now batting. Catcher. Jack. Collins. Standing in, Zach Collins. From the stretch. Ball one, no sight. One out, nobody on. That's ball fastball three. upstairs here that runs it to 2 and 0. Oh. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's 2 and 1 now. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Mm. Three and two. That's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. Fouled off.
seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. But listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Reese Hoskins will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. like he got the call there on the pitch inside it's nothing in one comes into this one at 271 18 homers and 46 driven in here's the 0 1 pitch lofted in the air out toward right center Calhoun has a read on it he makes the play and that'll end the inning Phillies down in order they still trail here at six to two. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Well, Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the D backs offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. He told me it feels like every ball they've put in play has been a laser. And the numbers back that up. Six of their hits have come off the bat at 90 miles an hour or harder, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Victor Arano will summon from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 54, Victor Arano. Ready to begin the eighth. And up to hit next, a guy who's turned into a big-time RBI man, Scooter Jeanette. Jeanette. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball, but this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty B, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get oh, that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Two two pitches fouled away. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with all speed. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Cole Calhoun will be next. This is hit the other way out toward left field. On the run is Benintendi. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison. And the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Cole Calhoun will stride in again as we flash him back to hitting number six. This was certainly a big blow in this one. A grand slam as he left no doubt about that one. You know what I'm reaching for. Shot my three who's keeping score. Two, two way anymore. One line till we make it. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Owen won the count. 
Bases are empty, one man. One and one. one, one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Here's the pitch. Hey. Fastball called strike. One and two. Now the pitch. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Here now the 2-2. Freezes hey. him. A strikeout looking. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. He struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. And the plate now. Carson Kelly. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One-zero -oh home. Two and oh. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders, but now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fast. A 2 and 0 pitch. It's a full count now. Nick Ahmed would be next. In the air to straightaway center field. Kingery is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They lead it six to two. Washington is out to confer with the home plate umpire, so it appears we'll have a double switch here. Your Tom Garland is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Cattell Marte is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, Hung the slider there, but laid off for ball one. Garland has tossed over 30 innings so far this season. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number. Over 1.5, so he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base pads, unfortunately. The 1 0 home. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Fastball just missed above the zone. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Uh, two two. It's looked at and the count moves full. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra basic. And he's going to get 
to second now with nobody out. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish that he's trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's kind of feeling pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Into the box now, Logan Forsythe. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time, laid off for ball one. No nope. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. A runner in second. Nobody out. Again, he sends it out of play. Forsyth with a full three and two count. Trouble waiting on deck as Bryce Harper gets next. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out the world. I know one thing, he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Into the box now, Bryce Harper. First pitch coming, here it is. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball. One and one. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. And not a real one good ball. cut at that two slider, three. and he's behind one and two. Justin Turner yeah. as he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate and that will be ruled a strike. Runners are at first and second with one away. Guide into straightaway right. Marte is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. And in steps Scott Kingery. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, man, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important for them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Ready for 
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In the air after straight away left. Peralta will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Phillies leave a couple. They still trail here at 6-2. to two. Hector Neres enters from the pen to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Nick Ahmed he struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Nick Ahmed. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. One and two. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. The right field Digging in the switch hitter to tell Marte. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard up the middle. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch you'll see all at bat. Definitely coming out of the shoes. Aggressive style. First pitch. Face it up the middle. Standing in now. Scarlett Marte. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Look now the pitch. And he'll strike out here yet again. It's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. In now, David Peralta. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Nope, Ball and a strike. Ball. One one. Comes a bit inside for a ball. Early and now it's even at two and two. Two out with the man at first. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Diamondbacks six and the Phillies two. Number 37 hits the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. For Arizona, number 37. 
Ready for another shot now. Andrew Benintendi. Over here with a couple of strikeouts for him at this point. Here comes the first pitch. Benintendi. Oh, it's that. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Hey. And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. One one. He's taken hey. for strike two. Fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off and he'll get another chance. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Fouled away. That's Lays ball. off two and two now. Two, two. Yep. Okay. Never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at bats. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. The runner at first with no outs here. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now back Stepping up to the plate Zach Collins. Collins. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Looked like he tried to pull it there but he swings right through the fastball. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. 1 pitch. Look out, 21. Runner at first here, one man out. In the air to straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He's not going to have a play on it. And this might bring home the runner from first. And he is in there. All you can ask as an offense is to try and get that tying run in the third. Right? They've started out nicely right here. They've got two runners on. They're down four. Grand Slam is still in play. Let's see if they continue this nice offensive approach. Archie Bradley comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Corey Dickerson will be called on to pinch hit them, and he'll do it in a golden RBI spot as he's got a two men in scoring position with only one gone in the inning. Ball one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Dickerson has a 280 batting average. Hold high in the air out to right field. Catch is made here in right.
right, and here comes the runner from third. He will get in the score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice line. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Gene Segura comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. It's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Dirt here, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Two out here and a runner at second. Philly down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You know, it's always nice to get that first one under your belt when you start a full game series on the road. It takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of the guys in the home dugout gives you confidence to come back and do it again tomorrow. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three in the final. The Arizona Diamondbacks took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Robbie Ray earns his sixth winning decision in this one. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.